Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a great day. This is a handy little video uh, all about mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, I always have done. It's probably why I'm uh, not the thinnest person in the world. But um, up until recently, I've been buying it in jars. This is a typical jar that I bought from uh, the supermarket. Um, but <laughs> I recently had a look at the ingredients list. Look at the size of the ingredients list on there. It's a blooming essay and there is just so much crap and rubbish and, and chemicals and stuff on there. There is stuff on here not even a NASA scientist could pronounce. And uh, when you think about it, mayonnaise is actually a very, very simple natural product. So what the hell this stuff's doing in here, I have no idea. But it can't be very good for you. So anyway, I've taken up uh, making my own mayonnaise. It's incredibly simple to do and it's so, so much healthier than this shop-bought rubbish. So if you want to find out how to make it, I'll show you. Okay, to make a very uh, simple but very, very lovely mayonnaise, what you need is one egg yolk, two tablespoons of uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons of vinegar, some mustard to taste. I'm using English mustard, but you can use uh, whatever you want, and some vegetable oil. Okay, this is about as simple as it gets, folks. You pour the vinegar in into a bowl, you pour the lemon juice in, and you pour the egg yolk in. Then you chuck in about a, a, a tea, or a tablespoon rather, of the mustard. Then with the whisk on a low setting, all you do is you start to fold the mixture in together, and then slowly, very slowly, start to add the oil. Now you'll find that the, the liquid is quite uh, thin and runny to begin with, but as you gradually add more and more oil, what you'll find is the mixture will start thickening up. But the absolute key is to uh, just add the oil very, very slowly, and you just keep adding the oil and uh, until the mayonnaise just thickens up to the levels that you want. You'll be amazed at just how much mayonnaise you can produce from just one egg yolk and uh, two tablespoons of uh, vinegar and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now last but not least, don't forget to add salt and pepper just to give it a, a really good taste. The buttons are going on my pepper mill. There we go, some freshly ground salt and pepper, and I'll just mix those in. Now, I should point out that um, I have tried uh, making mayonnaise using uh, utensils other than a whisk. I've tried using a blender, and I've also tried using one of those high speed hand one things um, that you get. Neither was successful. I just ended up with this sloppy water and it just it didn't sort of um, turn into mayonnaise. It didn't um, emulsify. So um, I'd say a nice safe bet would be to use this type of arrangement. So there you have it. That's about as simple as it gets. There is uh, the mayonnaise I just made. It makes quite a lot. Uh, I've only used about, I'm not very good at um, quantities, but I've used about that much oil and uh, but that's about as healthy as it gets. I mean, I know it's oil and fat, but there are no chemicals in here. There are no uh, preservatives, no rubbish, no colorings or anything like that. It is just nice, clean food. You know its history, you know what's in it. And I would much rather be eating this than that rubbish from the supermarkets. So all I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna decant this off into, I've got a large glass mason jar, and I'm gonna spoon that into the jar, and then I'm gonna keep it in the fridge now, this particular type of mayonnaise will last about uh, four weeks, six weeks if you're lucky, um, but it tends not to stick around that long because it's so yummy. Now, you don't just have to use mustard in there. You can use kind of any kind of flavorings that you that you like. You can actually experiment. Um, you know, I know people put like horseradish and, and sort of other hot sauces and things like that in it. 
So you end up with like flavoured mayonnaise. Of course, you can make garlic mayonnaise the same way by sort of mashing up garlic and putting it in there as well. So um, have fun with this. Like, like I say, nice and simple. And um, well, hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.